What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more hardcore, and we're back to redo a reaction I did on my old channel. Uh, I mentioned some of the reactions I did on my old channel, I feel like redoing because one, I was either long-winded or I kept stopping the record to talk instead of finding moments to talk while the track is still playing. Uh, and then also there's the other issue of all the videos that I had to retrieve from my old channel uh, when I was told that I had to move to the new channel uh, because I hadn't saved them on my computer. I, I didn't know I was going to have to move YouTube channels, so I was just putting them on my YouTube channel and then deleting them. Uh, so when I retrieved my old files, I realized YouTube compressed the videos, both the audio and the video. Um, some reactions were so sort of just kind of natural and right in the moment that I haven't redone them and I'm slowly reposting them. I still have like dozens more to put on the channel um, of videos that I'm going to keep. Uh, but again, there were a couple dozen others that I felt they were worthy of redoing and this was one of them. Um, a couple reasons beyond even what I just said. Number one, I did this one very early on and it's when I was sort of sitting off camera, so that's another thing. Uh, and not only that, I was sitting in a way that was sort of blocking the sound a little bit, so that's another issue. So for all those factors combined, we're going to redo it, um, and it's one of my favorite hardcore tracks ever. I mean, honestly, um, old school or modern hardcore done in the early hardcore styles, you know, Gabber. Um, this is just one of my very favorite tracks ever on one of my very favorite labels ever. Uh, shout out to Cenobite. Um, if you don't know, it's a term that comes from the Hellraiser movies, um, and indeed a lot of Cenobite tracks sample the Hellraiser movies, including the one we're about to listen to. Um, and ultimately, they it's a style of hardcore that's been called psycore, it's been called transcore, but it's basically hardcore with depth, with like narrative, atmospheric sort of qualities. It, it basically, it's hardcore that's not just brain and wall smashing, but has again, sort of a depth, and it'll have melody, and it'll have different sections where it's dynamic and it evolves, um, and again, it has like a sort of epic or at least intense atmospheric vibe. So um, shout out to Cenobite and their sound. Shout out to Danny Tribe, um, really cool producer, also produces under the name The Twins Artcore. Happened to, you know, meet him a little bit in recent times over the internet, um, bought a couple records from him even, um, really cool guy, so shout out to him. Um, and we're going to listen to a tune that he did called Flight Through the Universe, which again, Cenobite, it's a label that's been around since the like mid-90s. Um, but it's a label, or it's, um, but this track, I would say, is as much a perfect embodiment of the trance core, psy core sound as any track, um, that's been on the label. Like, it really just fits with the label's sort of sound and ethos, like, perfectly. Um, so again, big ups to the label and big ups to Danny Tribe, uh, Daniele, for making a track that just, honestly, is this amazing. So here we go, this is Flight Through the Universe on Cenobite Records by Danny Tribe, and it came out 2017, or is it 2016? Um, it's Cenobite Music number 18. I think it's 2017, but let me just check in a second. Um, but yeah, the opening sample, as you will come to hear, is from one of the Hellraiser movies. I believe it's the first one, but I don't know that for sure, because in, in all um, honesty, uh, to confess, I don't actually watch many... Um, uh, which I'm gonna call it horror movies. I got nothing against the genre. It's just not a genre that I've spent a lot of time watching. Okay, so this is from yeah January first, 2017. So it literally came out New Year's Day, on 2017, or in 2017. So here we go. Flight through the universe by Danny Tribe on Cenobite Records. Percussion, a big build, a wicked sample. And then that. First time I heard this, my it was like literally I did that cartoon thing where I was like, like my eyes just got like massive. What? Ugh. 
can hear that. Acid? Acid, anyone? Like laser acid. Hear the bass get like deeper there. Add filtering back in. For you love this boy. You have plans for him. Hopes and dreams. A whole imagined future. Like it's, you know, I've talked about it with a few tunes. I'll mention like, 
you know, an acid trance, I think of uh, Whiplash by Overcharge and uh, G Metter or Meter, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, that's a tune that I think is just like flawless, like don't touch it, like leave it alone, it's perfect. Um, ben uh, 9mm on Acid Forever, structure wise, acid wise, like chronology wise, it's perfect, just don't touch it. Uh, same thing with this, it's, you know, I, like sometimes I nitpick tunes, even tunes I love a lot, I'll still say like, oh, but you know, there's that one moment that like, maybe this element could stay in a little longer, like, maybe there could be more of like a kind of dramatic like moment with that transition or whatever, They're, you know, I'll nitpick it here and there. But there are some tunes where it's like, no, like I wouldn't touch a single thing, I wouldn't change a single note. You know, it's like that line in Amadeus, like if you were to change a single note, there would be diminishment. And I think it about that tune. So again, uh, big ups to Danny Tribe, uh, Twins Art Core. Um, oh, what's the... Oh man, I'm blanking on it. There's a name he uses on his own No Pizza Rave records a lot. I, I feel bad that I'm blanking on it right now. I should look it up. Give me one moment. Um, so... Nelly Scotchia also produced, oh, Atomic Baseline, that's what it is. Oh, and apparently L Professor as well, and Error 909. So yeah, there's a, quite a few names, um, but yeah, Atomic Baseline is the one I was trying to think of. That's on his No Pizza Raid, you'll see him under that uh, name a lot, um, including on a record that just came out this year, um, which I happen to have. I uh, haven't reacted to it yet, but we're going to get to that one eventually. Um, so yeah, shout out to him again. This is one of my favorite hardcore tunes ever, whether you're talking like vintage 90s stuff uh, or tunes from now, um, and that's a real testament to the quality. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's another tune from Cenobite um, you want to hear reacted to. As I keep saying, more on my old channel, but you know, I have said it a few times here as well. Um, if you go to the main page of my channel here, there's a link. It looks like a record, and it's to the, my Mr. Tom Servo Discogs collection, which is publicly visible. You can go in my hardcore folder and just go through and you'll see I have a number, <clears throat> excuse me, of uh, Cenobite releases uh, on vinyl. So you can just go through and see if there's anything you'd like to hear reacted to. Um, other than that, thank you for listening and watching. I do appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace.